Aloy! Oh, your timing couldn't be better. Over here! Aloy! Oh, this is a grand day. Greatness is in the air. Or will be soon. Greatness, huh? Behold, I call it Morland's amazing elevating orb. Inspired by the floating spheres the Banuk use for their clan contests. When aloft, this grand construction will be a spectacle henceforth unseen by the eyes of the living. Unburdened by gravity, it'll be a floating beacon, drawing people from great distances to our destination of wonders and amusement. Except... We're missing one key piece. A mechanical burner. Small, magnificent design. Old world ingenuity at its peak. We found it when we opened up more of the ruins below and discovered numerous statues of strange winged serpents. One such statue had the burner in its mouth. Oh, no doubt part of some ancient fire-filled spectacle. Oh, Aloy. It's perfect for the orb. But a swarm of burrowers chased us out before I could grab it. Could you get it? Please? Okay, Morland, you got me. I'm curious. I'll get it for you. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Okay, okay. Head down to where we fought that Tide Ripper after you drained all the water. When you get down there, head right and look for a room to the side. The statue you want is up high, looming like a nightmare. Oh, and if you'd like a smoother descent into the ruins, use the elevator. Just head back into the building and go upstairs. Got it. I'll see what I can do. Stupendous. Thank you. I await your return. <laughs> I think this is the place Morland was talking about. The burner should be deeper in the ruins. So many winged serpent statues, but none with a burner. Keep me awake.
energies that are shook in. This looks like the place. No borrowers, though. And that must be the statue. Okay, I gotta find a way up there. The vent. There's a crate in that room. How to get to it. This could be useful. to reach the statue.
to get the burner. Ah. Huh. Made it. Whoa! Well, I got the burner. Better take it back to Moreland. Burrowers. I have my wife that attacked Moreland. Stop, Mormon's amazing elevating orb.
about a game of machine strike now then? What? You're back! Did you get it? Do you have the device? Oh, please say you do. Oh, we're so close to something truly majestic. Here you go, Moreland. Yes! Yes! Thank you. I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble. Oh, this design, it's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads and away we go. Uh, we? Make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part? My mother raised me better than that. You should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it. How about it? How can I say no to that? that nah, nothing to worry about we have a sturdy tether connecting us to the ground pure osirum craftsmanship well give it a little flame aha we ascend behold the world beneath our feet ah the sky at our fingertips the burner heats the air inside which gets lighter than what surrounds it so we rise Indeed, we're powered by hot air. Just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell him I said that. We are on the cusp of history. The first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts? Oh yeah! The history of Osirum flights is fascinating. And, you know, violence and frequently incendiary. I feel like you should have mentioned this before. Nah, the others failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, blaze, a burner, the orb, and a tether. Within simplicity, there is perfection. Well, at least, you know, less chance of exploding. You know, if Abaddon were here, he'd be drunk like a wastrel, crippling fear of heights. That said, he gets poetic when drunk. He has evocative rhymes about all his various ledgers. A little known fact, Osram poetry started as work songs and forms around the claim. Ah, just a bit of turbulence. We shall tame these wild skies yet. <sighs> This feels like more than turbulence. Uh, for the record, that was not part of the planned aerial experience. What is that? Uh, yeah, I think our tether just came undone. Get to him. No! Ah! No! Gonna follow his voice. 
I'm stuck on the other side. I've got to clear out these machines. Okay. That's the last one. Better check on Morland. Hold on, Morland! I'll get you out! Aloy! Great gears, you're alive. Uh... Would you mind applying a little leverage? Hey, you all right? Oh. oh, when that maelstrom hit us, everything fell apart. I remember dropping, and then you tumbled out, and... It's okay. We're alive. You know... In terms of Osram Aviation, <laughs> we're pioneers. And they say it's a cursed field of study. <laughs> Do you need help getting back to camp? Yeah, no, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. It fell off when we were attacked. I mean, I can replace everything else. Except that. Okay, let's go. Did you have any idea what hit us? I couldn't get a good look at it in that maelstrom. Between the screeching and the lightning, it was probably a storm bird. Woof. Hideous machine. Well, at least it vanished with the storm. Do you mind finding a way across? I think I found us a bridge. All we need is something to bridge the gap. <laughs> Efficient and effective. <laughs> Make a fine Osirum. I see it. The burner is right below that storm burn. Ah, uh, yeah. I really need to stop making predictions on what's safe. Gotta be the same one that brought us down. We'll have to kill it to get the burner. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Shotgun won't do much.
It's dead. Aloy, uh, over here? When you have a moment. Steel to my soul. Oh. oh, I think that Stormbird had it in for me. Or really fancied my orb. Found it. Ah, <laughs> oh, just a hairline crack in the casing. Yeah, I can clean that up with a bit of spot welding. Assuming the ground doesn't open up and swallow us, I, I'm gonna say we're finally safe. Yet again, you risked your life for me and my ambitions. I wish I had Stemmer's words to thank you properly. If it helps, you've inspired me to draft up a new improved orb, something that unites a spectacle and survival. Uh, I'm honored, but I think I'll let Abaddon and Stemmer have the next flight. I'll see you back at the camp. I have so much to think about, so many ideas to explore. Until we meet again, may your tools never break, and may your imagination never find its limits. You too, Morland. Wind is bracing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>